Hey guys, it's Hunter here from Hunter Creates Legos. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bukes Batten's Carriage Arrival at Hogwarts. The set is 430 pieces and it's set number 75958. Here's a look at the back of the box. Let's yeet this out of here. Yeet. Uh oh. That's fine. Okay, anyway, uh, yeah. But I'm also gonna be reviewing a Lego minifigs packet that I already opened because I was too anxious. Mm, it's a gamer. This guy is very cool. I mean, just look at this. An actual video game, it says Playbo Space Game. There's a space looking dude there. An actual printed controller with all the little buttons, controls and things. Look at that. And then he has some nice printing on his arms. A uh, gamer looking brick on the front and then more prints on his jacket. And on his pants there's a skull. He has a belt. And then he has this nice face with a beard. He looks pretty happy and then there's also a frowning face. Akia has green hair with a gaming headset as well. I wanted to put that in this video because it's small. No, it doesn't fit, fit with the theme. It's cool. I, I just love this guy's molds and prints and things. It's legendary. Okay, so now let's get into the actual Bukes Vans carriage. Start off with the minifigures. First ma minifigure is Madame Maxime. She's very, very, very tall. More tall than Hagrid. Look at that. She's more tall than Hagrid by a long time. She has this nice red brick piece with, with, with some nice molds. She has the same molds for her shirt, torso piece, and some white little coatings and buttons on the back. There's a brownish wand, brownish wand, she looks pretty happy there. She has a very sad and dep depressed face on the back. <laughs> She has her nice black, little, very short hair. Next up is Hagrid, the half giant. Oh no, my minifig stand just broke. Okay, there we go. Here he is, Hagrid. He has tiny legs because he has such a big torso piece. He's wearing a nice tie for once. Hagrid's actually wearing a tie. He has the little things that bring the thing down. I don't know what exactly they're called. He has a brown facial piece and he looks pretty happy. He has no other piece. Now I have I think three Hagrids. No four. Four Hagrids. It's a lot of Hagrids. Then next up we have Floor Decor. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I think. She has a nice yellow blonde ponytail. Uh, the Bukes Batten's blue cap. A nice collar. She has dual molded legs. The only person that actually has moving legs in this set with blue dark blue printings on the bottom and light blue printings on the top. And then she has, just has her brown wand. Then there is, uh, what is her sister's name? Uh, I need to go look at the box. I needed it out of here a few minutes ago. Uh, I'm just gonna unhook my mic for a second. And I'm gonna go get the box, cause I forgot her name, she's not that important.
Okay, her name is Gabriella Dufour. So yes, this is Gabriella Declore. She has the same blue hat that her sister was wearing and also a blonde ponytail. She has a brown letter, same brown wand and the same printings that her sister has. But her legs are a lot smaller since she's Fleur's little sister. So it also has a brick separator, not important. Now let's get on to Buke's Batten's Carriage. A lot of more pieces. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about this. Just a little wine bottle. Okay, it's not very important. Now let's get into Buke's Batten's carriage. To on to open up the inside, you take off the roof, just like this, and then you open the door to make sure you know if it's the right side. If it's blocked, you know it's the right side. Just lift it up. And there it is, all opened up. The top story, when it's all opened up, just has this small shelving unit. There's nothing in the shelves. Oh, the teapot thing just fell out. And Mike is getting snagged on the Pegasuses. I'm gonna unhook them. Oh no, I can't, I'm not. <laughs> Maybe I can. Eesh. Well, I don't have to the Pegasuses, so why not to review them? They have these nice wings that fold out and in. Their legs are in trotting position. Their back legs can move. They have this nice runner where humans can sit down if they want. And you can unhook these little black pieces. I don't want to. And then to replace the little black hooks for them, you can put in these two white pieces. So here is the actual carriage. It's blue, it's very nice Buke's Batten designs on the sides. There are some lamps on either, either sides, these nice curved arches. In the back there is a chest that holds multiple, multiple teacups. Lots of teacups. I don't know why. Because you expand British people like to have tea. Here's the small tea table. There's just a teapot and another teacup. That can go in right in there on the ground floor. There's not much room for the, any of the kids. Mad Maximi is, <laughs> you wanna put Mad Maximi in there. She's the only one that can fit. Well, maybe little Gabriella can fit in there too. The window on the front side. No, no, it can't. Would have been able to if I had put those pieces there. And this is what it looks like, just all folded up like this. Let me quick attach Pegasus's back. The front side can also turn. Oh no, what just fell off? Not the back side, just the front side can turn. Teacup fell out too, geez, what is wrong? It's okay. And I think that's that, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to click like if you like this video and subscribe good i am so sorry you just had to experience the feeling of falling down when i clap this table is very rickety and it will fall down i'm very sorry so bye